Ace money to name, getting paid for the game. My goal is to help you get that money by sharing my picks, as well as some useful knowledge and betting techniques. Now, while we go over this recap, I'd like to get right into these picks so we can get in and out like a B&E with handicappers. So it's a SBR, Sportsbook Robbery. So it's uh, May 2nd. Only way to go from here is up, right? <laughs> uh, definitely misjudged yesterday's game. I thought it was supposed to be heat. I was going to try. But uh, they all just gave up. They they were already on vacation, off season. Um, yeah, so that wasn't good. I was at a meeting and I came home uh, halfway through the game, and I was like, "What the hell?" Uh, yeah, I said meeting, I mean recovery, eleven months clean. Thank you, thank you, thank you. But uh. On to the first one. We're going OB topping points over eight and a half. I've been playing this last couple of games in my uh, dropped him in the community live betting him. Uh, last game he 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 got a tech and then he got benched for for half the game. He's still went over it. Um, he's averaging through this playoff series. Uh, a little over this, about eleven points. It'd be it'd be higher, but uh, one game he went pretty low. You know, it's a little regression, but eight and a half is uh, it's not high enough. I was gonna do points and rebounds. They got it at thirteen and a half, and um, he's averaging about sixteen. So that might be a safer bet. If you want, you can do that one. Uh, I played the points. But, um, he, you know, he gets on a little hot streak. He'll hit a couple threes in a row. And then, uh, you know, with offense comes defense. With defense comes offense. Uh, yeah, so I got OB over eight and a half points. All right, for my next play. Staying in the uh, first game, Milwaukee at Indiana, going Halliburton over two and a half threes, minus 140 on DraftKings. Uh, he's hit five and four in the last two games. Uh, he's been putting up a lot of them, 12, 12, and 10. Last game, he shot 40% from three, 42%. And first game, 8%. He hit one. It was horrible. But uh, last 10 games, he's about 32%. Um, with the volume he's putting up, two and a half, he's going to go over it. Uh, I like this play. We got Halliburton over two and a half threes. All right, for my next play, I got Beasley. Uh, they just pulled it. I'm sure they, I don't know if they're changing it. Hopefully they're lowering it, but I don't know. I got them for over 11 and a half points. Minus 118 on DraftKings. Um, you see over here, the last two games, he's been starting. He scored 20 and 18. Uh, I dropped him in the community the other night. He uh, they had him at five and a half. So, yeah. Um, you know, 11 and a half, almost doubling that. But he's been scoring. He's been hitting threes. Uh, hopefully, he keeps it up. And... Uh, does well. You know, he's been a hot and cold player throughout the season. Made some money off him, and then he and then he falls off a little bit. But, uh, you know, it's playoffs, and uh, hopefully he keeps it up. 11 and a half. You can see him going over that. He's playing almost 30 minutes right now. All right, Beasley over 11 and a half. I got him on DraftKings. It should be back up soon. Philly game being played in Philly, hoping the Knicks take him out. Game 
shit pissed me off. Went to overtime. It shouldn't have. Then, uh, I don't know, man. Brunson just crapped out on me. Started being a ball high. And then he had that horrible pass when he finally decided to pass it. Josh Hart was standing in the corner. And Josh Hart needed one more assist for us to catch that. In the whole fourth quarter, he he was shot. They should have just took him out of the game. But, uh, yeah, shit happens. So I got McBride over two and a half rebounds. I have plus 145 right now. Dropped this in the community last night. I thought they might have bumped it up by now. I mean, what they did, too, is they got it at one and a half for less money. But um, for this price, I really like this. He's had four in each of the last two games. Uh, he's been getting extended minutes. His minutes have been going up. It's a little higher last game because of the overtime. But uh, with DiVincenzo not playing well, you know, McBride's been getting grabbing a few more minutes. As well as he's been doing good on defense and stuff. But, yeah, so I like this. I think uh, for the price, he's got a good chance to grab three pretty easily um, over two and a half. Also playing him as points. I'm going to jump right into that. We got uh, McBride over points, minus 108. He's had 14 and 13 the last games. I already showed you his minutes. Uh, he's been shooting on nearly 50% from field goals and nearly 41% on threes. So he's getting the opportunities as well as he's hitting them. Uh, it's always been a good shot. He's been playing really good. Miles McBride, I call him Deuce. Over nine and a half points. All right, here we go. I got OG, original gangster Ag Ananobi. Uh, over 14 and a half points, minus 118 on DraftKings. Shit. You got them all the way up to minus 150 on Caesars, so make sure you line shop. He's gone over this the last three games. Not by much, but. He's, you know, he's going over at 17 and, excuse me, 17 and 16. Uh, he's been getting a couple more minutes. Those are his three-point attempts, four, four, and five uh, minutes. 40, 46. That's almost a whole game, actually. 50, that's with the overtime. So he's been playing minutes, and now you might say for his minutes, his points ain't there, but he plays good defense. He's showing aggression. Uh, if you don't have the open three or whatever, he'll fake it and drive. Uh, he's balling. You know, it's the reason why the Knicks took him on the trades. They got rid of Barrett and uh, IQ, Manuel, quickly. But, uh, yeah, so... 14 and a half, uh, unless he has an off night, I doubt it. So, OG having an OB. 14 and a half points, minus 105. Once again, they got it all the way up to 140. So, line shot. Uh, it's gone over this. Four out of, no, four out of the last five. I know what you're thinking. I took him here and he got four. It's like, damn, I can never win. And no, I'm kidding. And then um, I took his assist that game. No, I took his assist last game and he scored 18. So it's like, hit or miss. But uh, 14 and a half, uh, you know, it's in a very important game. I believe he's going to go over it. He's obviously playing so many minutes. Um, hopefully I choose right. He's been getting a lot of rebounds. You already know that. So if you want, you can play points and rebounds. But it's just a little high for me. Uh, both teams are going to be going at it, playing. Uh, 14 and a half, I just 
still think it's a little too low. If he does the right thing, he's going to go over it. You know, he's either going to go over it or he's going to go way under it. So, but I'm choosing over. Josh Hart, 14 and a half. If you like the video, if you haven't already, uh, leave a comment. Tell me that you're mad at me for missing plays. Uh, you know, I'm only human. It is gambling, and uh, I apologize for that, though. I really do try. Uh, if you haven't already, subscribe so you can get them plays in the community that I drop, as well as my daily videos, picks, uh, knowledge, and techniques. I'm going with Batum. Nicholas Batum rebounds over four and a half. Yeah, I took a sixes. He's been trending way up. Uh, feel like the rebounds, Knicks have been getting a little less rebounds. But, um, yeah, I mean, look at it. Five, six, seven, eight, and he, they got him at four and a half. He's been playing around 25 minutes averaging. He's exceeded four and a half rebounds in four of his last five games, averaging over five. So I just like to decide to play it. Um, I'm hoping the Knicks win. It should be a good game. It will be a good game. I already know that. But, uh, yeah, we got Batum over four and a half. Look out for the community plays. I'll be looking to live bet. Uh, I didn't play Brunson or Devo. Devo's been trending up, even though he's been doing bad. They got him at 11 and a half. Uh, I'm probably personally going to play it later just because I lost money the last couple of days and he owes me. <laughs> but uh, eight plays is enough. I'll be putting out mad plays. Uh, don't have to play them all. Use the info, the intel, and uh, pick and choose which ones you want to use. As I say, I play every, I put out every play that I play. Um, and so, let's have a good one. Can only go off from here, right? Ace money to name, getting paid for the game.